hello dear students and uh, in sequence this is second video of, uh, of this poem palanquin bearers in previous video we have uh, touched verse by verse word by word uh, we have tried to uh, analyze the poem palanquin bearers written by uh, nightingale of india that is sarojini naidu she was freedom fighter also and in this uh, video today we will discuss its uh, summary and some of its poetic devices then textbook questions which are included in this poem and uh, we also discussed some literary devices like simile and i had asked you to write down the simile refrain and uh, alliteration if you can uh, get from this poem and if you if you if you did have some problem in uh, searching out which are similes which are refrain and alliteration in this poem today we will clear them uh, yes uh, similes used in this poem what is first of all i in every poem almost i had discussed with you what is simile and here <coughs> simile means comparing of two things right with using like and as now here simile is in the poems are she falls like a tear first simile used she falls like a tear that means she falls like a tear the she falls had been compared with tear she springs like a beam she springs like a beam that means uh, she shines like a beam of light she hangs uh, that is move from one place to other she is uh, her movement has been compared with stars she sways that means that also is one type of movement like a flower she skims going up and down she skims like a bird and here she had been compared with bird so these are some similes which had been used in this poem now alliteration what is alliteration for the repetition of speech sounds in a sequence of nearby words so for example she sways she begins with s s sways also begins with s so s and s here are alliteration here she skims again she sways now she skims s for she s for skims like laugh lips l for like l for laugh l for lips so here alliteration again been used galley glide G A I G for galley, G for glide. Here again, simile alliteration had been used in this poem. Beam bow, B for beam, B for brow. The simile had been used. Refer what is referent first? We will try to understand what is referent. A referent is a line, a part of line or group of lines which is repeated in course of a poem and usually at the end of stanza. So there are three things. Alliteration is a repetition of sounds. Let me as for she as per swiss so here it is alliteration repetition is softly or softly softly and softly two times one word had been repeated that is called repetition for example twinkle twinkle little star twinkle and twinkle two times had been used repeated twinkle twinkle that is repetition and what is refrain refrain is when one wool line when wool line is repeated in the poem puri line jab dobara repeat hoti hai poem mein that is called refrain here we can under, uh, one refrain been used in this poem we bear her along like a peril on a string so here refrain has been used what is the rhyme scheme rhyme scheme is a a b b c c that means first line rhymes with second line b b third line rhymes with fourth line cc fifth line rhymes with sixth line right so here a a b b c c rhyme scheme had been used rhyming words uh, along song sing string tied right along song stream dream brim so these are not very difficult for you and uh, then images some images which had been used in this poem uh, imagery is when some uh, picture a uh, writer or poet is able to create pictures in the minds of readers that is called uh, imagery 
and some images which are written in your sneak uh, skims like a bird and second she sways like a flower here swaying is a flower in the wind here floats like a loft dream uh hangs like a star that means what is the meaning of hangs like a star moment of star that twinkles in the sky springs like a beam that is one more Im image which had been used uh, that means quick moment of ray of the light roshni ki kiran ki jaldi ek moment jo hoti hai that is springs like a beam that ye bhi ek image hamari dimag mein create karti hai then falls like a tear so what is this image mean what this image mean dripping moment of the tear tear then peril on a string what is the meaning of this line moment of a peril on a string and then then uh, to make musical effect of this poem some words had been repeated like galio gali lightly or lightly softly or softly this is why they uh, been used to give musical effect to this poem now coming to the summary of this poem it's not very difficult to understand what this poem means actually these are this poem uh, is uh, had been uh, referred as uh, by uh, these beerers palenkin beerers had been referred in this poem this poem had been spoken by here by palenkin beerers and they feel very happy when they uh, take out bride of very uh, that uh, bride of uh, um, that royal family on their shoulders and they they also sing song and uh, uh, they feel that uh, that bride is very happy when she hear her, uh, their song and uh, they feel very uh, pride in taking bride on their shoulders um, so they don't feel very bore boresome or very tiresome work this they feel it very um, nice work very very elegant work the palanquin bearers are carrying a royal bride in a palanquin they are singing a song while moving they uh, they sing uh, song is related to the situation of the bride they say that they are bearing the bride lightly the bride is swinging like a flower in the wind she is gliding like a bird on the froth froth of a stream she is floating quietly like a loaf from the lips of a dream they are singing and carrying her happily they are carrying like a peril on a string they are moving gently and cheerfully she is hanging like a star in the dew of their song she rises like a ray of light seen on the top of tide she feels she falls like a tear from the eyes agar aap pehle stanza mein dekhenge wo dikhate hain ki wo jo bride hai badi khush hai kyunki use ek naye ghar mein ja rahi hai apne husband se milne ja rahi hai uske uski nayi zindagi ki shuruaat ho rahi hai lekin second stanza mein uski aankhon se aansu tapak rahe hain kyunki wo apne parents se bhi juda ho rahi hai theek hai aur lekin पालन किन बीरस उस ब्राइड का अक्स हमारे सामने रखते तो हैं लेकिन साथ साथ में ये बोलते हैं कि हमने उस ब्राइड को इस तरीके से उठाया हुआ है कि वो बहुत खुश है और अपने आप को बहुत अच्छा महसूस कर रही है राइट तो एनालिसिस अगर इस पोएम का करें हम दोबारा तो इन एंशंट डेज क्या होता था कि रॉयल ब्राइड को आजकल तो अगर आप देखें कि ब्राइड ब्राइड जो भी होती है तो उसको बड़ी कार में बहुत अच्छी बड़ी लक्जरियस लग्जरियस कार लाई जाती है तो उसमें उठा के ले जाते हैं तो लेकिन पुराने ज़माने में एक ऑर्नेट पालिनक्विन बनाई जाती थी उसके लिए और उसमें उसको कैरी किया जाता था पालिनक्विन बियर्स इज अ ये एक म्यूजिकल पोएम है द व्यू डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द जर्नी मेक्स अस एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द सॉफ्ट जेंटल स्वेइंग मोमेंट्स ऑफ द पालिनक्विन पालनक्विन बेरर्स केरी द पालनक्विन जेंटली द स्विंग्स मोमेंट्स ऑफ द पालनक्विन आर कम्पेयर टू फ्लावर मूविंग द इन विंड यानी यानी इस तरीके से इसको स्वे कर रहे हैं जैसे फ्लावर हवा से हिल रहे हैं ठीक है तो यानी कि इतनी भी नहीं आंधी है कि वो गिर जाएँ यानी फूलों को हिलाना यानी वो फूल की तरह उसको कंपेयर कर रहे हैं द बेरर्स डो नॉट फील बर्डन तो एक यहाँ से हमें मिलता है कि उनको बोझ नहीं लगता कि वो वो कैरी कर रहे हैं उसको तो 
सम टेक्स्ट बुक क्वेश्चन भी दी हम डिस्कस करेंगे वट आर द फीलिंग्स ऑफ द पालन क्विन बियरस एज द केरी द प्रिंसेस इन साइड द पालन क्विन तो कैसा फील कर रहे हैं जब वो पालन क्विन प्रिंसेस शहजादी को उठाते हैं पालन क्विन में तो तो पालन क्विन बियरस आर डिलाइटेड एज दे आर केयरिंग आर रॉयल ब्रॉयड इन हर हर इन लाज वो अपने आप को बड़ा खुशकिस्मत डिलाइटेड समझते हैं एज दे वाक दे फील देट शी इज डेलीकेट लाइक अ फ्लावर हु स्वेज दियर एट दियर सॉन्ग सेकेंड क्वेश्चन है लाइटली और लाइटली वी बी आर हर अलॉन्ग शी स्वेज लाइक अ फ्लावर इन द विंड ऑफ और सॉन्ग तो वट दीज लाइन सजेस्ट दीज लाइन सजेस्ट देट द ब्राइड इन साइड द पॉलन किन इज वेरी डेलीकेट एंड लाइट शी इज इन वेल्यूएबल एंड ऑल्सो इज मोस्ट सेक्यर्ड एंड अस्पिशियस ओकेजन फॉर हर ऑफ हर सो दे थिंक पॉलन किन बेरस दिस इट्स वेरी स्पेशल ओकेजन फॉर हर एंड वेरी अस्पिशियस ओकेजन ऑल्सो फॉर हर द पॉलन किन बेरस आर वेरी सेंसेटिव टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द ब्राइड एज दे हैंडल हर लाइक precious jewel they are also careful when they carry her as if she were uh, a pearl on string question number 3 is what is the rhyme scheme of this poem we already discussed the rhyme scheme of this poem a a b b c c and in line 4 the poet says she floats like a lark from the lips of a dream and in line 10 she writes she falls like a tear tear from the eyes of a bride these smellies had been in used in both these lines so what does poet want to say in this from these lines the contract diction is when the poet describe the bride she floats like a laugh in the first stanza is already said ki pehle stanza mein kya karta hai ki poet batata hai ki wo badi khush hai aur second stanza mein kya hota she falls like a tear ki wo badi dukhi bhi hai ki because she is separated from her parents and first mein ye badi khush hai kyunki she is going to start uh, new life with her husband right so some are some of similes seven similes which had been sought out had been used in this poem already discussed with you these uh, poetic devices to yahan se bhi aap guess kar sak le sakte hain ki kon kon si simile use hui thi poet poet often use the dif, uh, device of refrain refrain bhi use hua hai theek hai to aapko ye poetic device humne already discuss kiye hain सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस पॉयम तो आज हमारी ये पालन क्विन बियरर्स कम्प्लीट होती है थैंक यू वेरी मच